Cancer is a condition when the DNA and genes within your cells are harmed, leading to the cells starting to mutate and grow out of control. In contrast to healthy cells, cancer cells acquire immortality and begin to proliferate quickly throughout the body, depleting your nutritional stores and depleting your sugar stores. As the cells change, they create tumors that result in cancer in various organs, such as the lungs, liver, pancreas, and bowels. In addition to destroying your organs, blood vessels, and nerves, cancerous cells also result in death. What, however, actually harms your DNA and cells in the first place? Refined sugar, which is frequently added to our diet and damages your cell's mitochondria as a result of free radicals, is one of the main culprits. High fructose corn syrup, which is widely used in the production of sweets, juice drinks, sauces, and fast food, is another type of sugar that increases the risk of cancer. Furthermore, artificial sweeteners found in diet sodas like aspartame harm your cell's insulin receptors, which can also cause cancer. Additionally, cancer causing are refined vegetable oils, processed grains, and wheat which deplete antioxidants and increases the risk of DNA deterioration. Additionally, the chemical weed killers and pesticides used to grow our vegetables are damaging to your cells. Along with drinking alcohol, vaping, smoking, and other breathing and contaminants. Fortunately, there are natural foods that possess healing properties that aid in preventing your cells from developing cancer, even if we have all been exposed to these things. Learn about the best foods in the world that work at the molecular level to both prevent and treat cancer in this video. Just a quick reminder that this video is solely intended for educational purposes. If you have any medical problems, consult your doctor for a diagnosis. Garlic, raw. Regular consumption of crushed, raw garlic can aid in preventing the development of malignant cells in the body. It contains organic compounds including ion, allicin, and sulfur that increase antioxidant activity in the body and shield DNA, mitochondria, and cells from oxidative damage. It has also been demonstrated that the garlic compound allicin causes dying cancer cells to self-destruct, apoptosis. To release allicin, garlic must be crushed. It must also not be cooked because heat degrades this delicate ingredient. Be sprouts of broccoli. Microgreens that have been sprouted from broccoli seeds are called broccoli sprouts and are two to three days old. They contain high concentrations of sulforaphane, a substance that kills cancer cells but leaves healthy cells unharmed. Sulforaphane levels in broccoli sprouts are 100 times higher than in mature broccoli. According to studies, eating more sulforaphane causes your liver to create more enzymes that help your body eliminate poisons and pollutants that might have, over time, led to cancer. These are really simple to start growing at home using a cheap sprouting kit on your windowsill. Use the seeds from wheatgrass, cauliflower, radish, arugula, or any other plants that contain anti-cancer properties. The enzymes in them assist your stomach to absorb more nutrients from the cooked foods, I advise topping your cooked veggies with sprouts. Or you may just mix them into a nutritious salad. Third, blueberries. Start consuming a modest handful of blueberries each day to boost your immune system and general wellness. Anthocyanins, a type of plant pigment, are what give blueberries and other berries their distinctive black, purple, or reddish hue. Potent antioxidants, anthocyanins guard your cells against the harm done by free radicals, which are produced by foods like sugar, junk food, vegetable oils, etc. You must concentrate on consuming foods high in antioxidants every day if you wish to keep your body from harm or heal from any medical disorders. Bilberries, blackberries, strawberries, gooseberries, and acai berries are some other anti-cancerous berries. Some can be consumed as powder form supplements. If you think this material is helpful, please like it, subscribe, and enable all of your notifications to receive our most recent health and dietary advice. 4. Savoy Cabbage One of the highest sources of vitamin C in the world is sauerkraut, a type of fermented cabbage popular in Germany. 700 mg of vitamin C, or more than 8 times the daily amount, may be found in one cup. When your tissues are inflamed, cancer frequently spreads to those places of your body that are swollen and irritated. However, vitamin C aids in reducing this inflammation and removing free radicals from your blood to lower your risk of developing cancer. Since ascorbic acid supplements do not have the same impact as entire meals, it is crucial to consume foods high in the real vitamin C complex. I advise consuming sauerkraut three times per week. It contains a lot of prebiotics and probiotics, friendly bacteria, due to fermentation, which helps to nourish colon cells and ward off the development of polyps, tumors, and bowel cancer. Kimchi, miso, and kefir, are fantastic fermented foods. 6. 
fruits and vegetables. Many of us have abused our bodies by consuming excessive amounts of junk food, sugar, and possibly alcohol over the years. As a result, poisons may accumulate inside your bones, liver, tissues, and other organs, increasing your chance of developing cancer. Fortunately, by consuming a lot of organic cruciferous veggies, you may encourage your body to begin eliminating these cancer-causing poisons. Included on this list are vegetables like kale, cabbage, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, beet tops, arugula, bok choy, collard greens, watercress, etc. These brassica vegetables include indole-3-carbinol, an anti-cancer phytonutrient, in addition to vitamin C, potassium, magnesium, B vitamins, and many other minerals. These nutrients aid in the breakdown of poisons by liver enzymes into harmless water-soluble particles that can be eliminated by urine. Phase 1 and Phase 2 detoxification are used to describe this. You can lightly steam your vegetables, but it's preferable to eat them fresh in a salad with other vegetables like tomatoes, spring onions, herbs, etc. To avoid overcooking them. 6. Pepper and Turmeric One of the most well-known herbal remedies for reducing inflammation and promoting healing in the human body is turmeric. Start putting turmeric powder in stir-fries, curries, soups, and stews, or use it to make herbal tea. Curcumin, the key component in turmeric, has been demonstrated to stop malignant tumors from forming new blood vessels. This aids in starving cancer cells and halts the progression of malignancy. Whenever you eat turmeric, you should also add black pepper since it is piperine, which can increase your absorption of curcumin by 2000%. 7. Mushrooms. Mushrooms have been used in China for thousands of years to help treat illnesses and strengthen the immune system against viruses and infections. PSP and PSK are two plant compounds derived from mushrooms and utilized as a component of cancer therapy regimens in China and Japan since the 1970s. The finest anti-cancer mushrooms to eat include maitake, reishi, cordyceps, chaga, lion's mane, and turkey tail. These truly contain over 40 different phytonutrients, including quercetin, hispolin, bakeline, and many others, which aid in the prevention and treatment of cancer. 8. Matcha Green Tea Start drinking two cups of matcha green tea every day if you truly want to boost the health of your cells. Matcha provides more concentrated nutrients with therapeutic qualities and more chlorophyll than ordinary green tea. It has been demonstrated that one of its main constituents, EGCG, stops cancer cells from migrating from a tumor to other human tissues and organs. 9. Dark Chocolate Sugar-free, dark chocolate without added sugar. Chocolate is made from cacao beans, which are rich in phytonutrients and antioxidants including chlorogenic acid, which has also been proven to prevent cancer. Including this in your routine is a terrific method to increase the amount of antioxidants in your body because it really has more flavanols than blueberries and acai. Make sure to select organic dark chocolate with a high cocoa content, at least 70%, sweetened with stevia rather than sugar. Consuming a few cubes daily can help manage blood pressure, regulate cholesterol, and reduce cortisol, the stress hormone that causes weight gain. Let's examine some additional foods that are anti-cancer, although I can't go into detail about them right now due to the length of this video. You should do your own independent study on these. Red algae, black seed oil, sweet wormwood, seeds from a pumpkin, ginger, celery, walnuts, oregano, ashwagandha, soursop. Additional methods to prevent slash fight cancer. Now that you're well informed about the nutrients that fight cancer, let's look at some crucial lifestyle recommendations for preserving and repairing your cells. 1. Many people have utilized intermittent fasting for 48 hours or more to treat late-stage cancer. When you fast, your body produces less IGF-1, glucose, insulin, and other growth hormones, which aids in the body's ability to heal and eradicate cancer cells. 2. Consuming soluble fiber-rich foods, such as chia seeds, helps your body produce more butyrate by feeding the good bacteria in your stomach. This lessens inflammation throughout the body, lowers oxidative stress, and prevents DNA damage in mitochondria and cells. 3. Cut back on eating processed meats, stop consuming items that have been fried in vegetable oil, and quit consuming sugar. By doing this, damage from free radicals to the cells will be reduced. 4. Avoid drinking tap water, which contains hormone disruptors, and hydrate your body with at least one liter of distilled water per day. Additionally, Potassium citrate, which enhances cell activity and eliminates extra sugar from the blood, can be added to water. 5. To promote cellular repair, 
put an emphasis on eating the organic, antioxidant-rich foods already mentioned. Include low glycemic fruits and vegetables, lemons, nutritional yeast, and sea kelp in your diet. 6. Finally, exercise for 20 minutes at least twice a week. The blood's oxygen content is raised by 10 to 20 times as a result. Oxygen-rich environments do not support the growth of cancerous cells. When you can, work out outside because the sun's infrared radiation can increase the antioxidant melatonin. Be sure to stop smoking and vaping as well. I appreciate you taking the time to view my video today. Please like and don't forget to subscribe. That's all for now. Stay healthy.